Welcome to another Audubon Exploration. I'm Andy Wood and I'm standing in a different pond not very far from where we were just a little while ago uh, here in southeastern North Carolina. This is, um, it, it is also an ephemeral pond, a pond that dries out during the summer months and fills up with winter rains, but this is a, a not so much of a natural pond. It does have pond cypress in it along with black gum and uh, some red maple, uh, but this pond was artificially created when, as a borrow pit. This was, uh, it's, it has clay on the bottom and so it was uh, excavated out to make a uh, roadbed not very far from here. But as a result of the excavation in here, it created this beautiful pond that doesn't have fish in it, so it's a great breeding site for a variety of different frogs, Carolina gopher frog for one, Pinewoods tree frog, oak toad, little uh, grass frog, southern cricket frog, uh, leopard frog, green frog, carpenter frog, lots of frogs use this pond. And um, th that's kind of testimony to southeastern North Carolina's fame as a great spot for frogs. You go to the mountains of North Carolina and you're in an area that has a greater diversity of salamanders than anywhere almost in the world. And here on the coastal plain, we have the greatest frog diversity almost uh, for the entire North American continent, except for one spot in Georgia. Southeastern North Carolina has lots of frogs, and this pond is uh, just a, a spectacular place to find some of them, or most of them. And what I've been doing is dip netting in the water with a, a fine mesh dip net and catching up a pretty neat collection of small invertebrates, mostly little crustaceans, the daphnia and copepods that you would expect to find in a pond that doesn't have fish. Fish love to eat daphnia and copepods, the little plankton of a freshwater system. But there's somebody else in here that's really kind of uh, unusual for the coastal plain. It's a type of stonefly, and stoneflies are common in a mountain stream. Uh, you don't see them in too many systems here in the coastal plain where we have uh, very calm water that uh, maybe isn't as well oxygenated as a mountain stream. So fly, water boatman, again the daphnia, copepods. Uh, there are some very tiny fairy shrimp, not almost uh, too small to see yet. They're only a couple of days out of the egg. But lots of invertebrates in here. Not very many mosquito larvae, and that's because there are lots of predatory insects in here that like to eat mosquitoes. So while uh, some might look at a pond like this and think, well, it's got to be a, a place for mosquitoes, it's actually not such a great place for them. Again, because of the predatory insects that we find in here. Uh, in another couple of weeks, we'll have spring peepers calling out of here, leopard frogs possibly, and then tadpoles resulting. Uh, there, will, there is a little salamander that lives in this pond called the broken striped newt. And um, as winter progresses, we keep getting the rains. It's an El Nino year, so we should have good winter rains this year. That'll keep this topped off very nicely for the frogs, carrying them through spring, we hope, and into summer, uh, when we could hopefully find uh, barking tree frogs calling in here. So just a wonderful, wonderful uh, amphibian uh, oasis, if you will, surrounded by longleaf pine savanna. So, for Audubon, North Carolina, I'm Andy Wood.